Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm doing your monthly oracle card guidance for the month of March to 2024. And what we have here are the soul cards. The two, uh, we have Trust Your Vibes by Sonia Chiquette and we have the soul cards, the one. Uh, both of them are very interesting. They're very, very uh, intuitive and I highly recommend these, all, all three of these cards. I really like working with them personally. All right, go ahead and select your option, option one, option two and option three and you can go directly to the timestamp provided in the description. And for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're using the soul cards number two. And we are asking, what do we need to know for the month of March 2024? That is our guidance for the month of March And so for those of you who have chosen the option one, um, we have the soul cards too that we are using. And I just want to apologize for the video coming out so late this month. I have been struggling with a bit of laryngitis and it's only now relieved itself. And so I, yes, um, unfortunately it's a little bit late. Okay, I hope you all are doing well though. And so for this reading, what I see at the beginning of this month of March is, or the first um, 10 days of March, is that there's a gift coming towards you. There's a gift that is headed in your direction. And you need to be either on the receiving end of something or you have to be in the the one who's the giver. There is, you have to be open to receiving something. You have to be um, almost grateful for what's coming your way. Now, they may not be, it might not be easy to receive this. It may not be exactly what you want to receive. Um, on the other hand, if you are the giver, if there's something that you need to give to somebody, there may be quite a lot of discomfort around that. There may be uh, quite a lot of confusion a bit of emotional upheaval with regard to your feelings and thoughts about what it is that needs to be given. There might be a bit of hesitation to receive or to give and uh, a bit of resistance to that. But the card here shows me that you need to actually be open towards it because this is going to bring great blessings, not just to the one who's receiving, but also to the one that's giving and that it's important to be generous and even if you don't think it's deserved, but to be generous and to, to help and to assist one around you. I think there's also, um, if, if there's nothing that you can identify in your life that has to do with giving or receiving at this in the first 10 days of March, then I would say that just be open to the wisdom that's coming your way because there's definitely a lesson to be learned in the first 10 days of March and there's definitely something to be gained from this time. Now, as you reach the second uh, 10 days of March, I would say from the 10th to or the 11th to the 20th, what you're going to find is that there is an opening. There's an opening. It's almost like a birth of something in your life it's new beginning and it really has a lot to do with the whatever you've received or whatever you've given in the first 10 days there's a birth of something it's almost like the you know the coming of uh, a new intelligence or a new understanding uh that you can actually enjoy and that you might be surprised about but it's certainly something that's bringing a bit more enlightenment and a bit more knowledge to you than you would have been aware of already. Now, um, it's, it may come in a in a package that might not be readily received or might not be um, understood as wisdom coming your way or enlightenment coming your way at the beginning. For some of you, it may be signaling the ending of something. 
in order to create a new beginning. It may be the ending of a particular era. Well, in many ways, it is the ending of something. But for me, what's highlighted here is the is a beginning. So it's almost like between, you know, as we, we come towards the equinox, just before the equinox, there's this ending of something that needs to end. And there's definitely a new beginning of something that has to, to begin. And as we venture towards the last uh, 10 days or 11 days of March, what I see is a knowing that is very a knowing that's a combination of the giving or receiving from the first week of the enlightenment that you would have uh, and the understanding and the intelligence that you've received um, in the second week. But there's a kind of culmination of that in all all of you and there's an understanding there's a knowing there's a seeing there's a connection to the greater uh, good i would also say that march might be a month where you may want to begin meditating or connecting to an astral world or world beyond the physical world in order to be able to commune uh, with divine divine energies and to be able to receive knowledge from these divine energies i would say march is a month where if you if you remain open and you do things slightly differently from how you might have been doing it previously uh, you're going to be finding that there are a lot of blessings in that and as you come to the end of march there's a lot of wisdom to be gained uh, or not maybe wisdom to be gained but there the wisdom has already been gained by the time you get to the end of March, there's a knowing, there's a settledness in you, and there's quite a degree of um, of confidence as far as that's concerned because you are aware of things that um, you may not have been aware of previously. Now, what else March brings you is a sense that uh, you have been given a choice to make a decision again that you may have made maybe 10 or five or 15 years ago and there's a sense that uh, there's this decision that's come up again and it's like you have more information about the situation this time around and you can make a better decision um, it's also an opportunity i would say to branch away from the way you have been doing things and start up again and do things in a slightly different way and i think that it's going to be a very successful time for you if you do this in March. I wish you all a beautiful time in March. May you have a very successful time. And once again, I just want to apologize for um, the late delivery of this um, of this video uh, because I've not been well in the first few days of March. Okay, many blessings to you all and lots of love and um, till next time. And for those of you who have chosen the option number two, which is the Trust Your Vibes deck by Sonia Shaket, we're asking, what do we need to know for the month of March And for those of you who have chosen option number two, I just wanted to apologize for the video upload being so late. I have suffered a bit of laryngitis in the last days and I needed um, my voice to come back to me before I could make this video. Um, yeah, so for the month of March, we have call in your angels, downtime, and it's not personal. So what I'm reading from here is that in the in the first 10 days of March, I think you it's time it's I feel like it's time to connect with the spirit world and to be able to uh, call on your angels to quite literally to be able to ask for assistance. It might be that you feel quite emotional during this time, but you're not really sure of why you do. It might be that uh, you're more stressed than you realize or that you you may not realize why you're stressed or how you could be stressed, 
but you are somehow feeling stress in your body and it's causing an emotional reaction in you. It might be that you have quite a lot of things uh, to do and or quite a lot of social arrangements and this stresses you out without you realizing it and makes you feel uh, a bit worn. And so the advice for the first 10 days of March is simply to relax, to actually uh, close your eyes, meditate, call in your angels, call for assistance, sit down, look at a pond, look at the water, look at the ducks in a pond, smell some roses, sit in a park with uh, trees all around you and listen to the leaves rustling. It's uh, a stillness. I feel like you need stillness in the first um, uh, 10 days of March, even though it might actually be a really busy time for you. And this is all the more reason to have that stillness as you head into the second 10 days of March so from the 10th of March till about the 20th of March uh, the card is downtime and it really describes this uh, you know this kind of uh, wheel this hamster wheel and uh, the the trudge of life and I feel it would be an appropriate time to get away to go somewhere to relax to find time to escape your the usual habits that you have or the rhythm that you have to take a break from your daily and or weekly rhythm and if possible to go away somewhere or for a few days or maybe just to spend some time with friends having fun relaxing just doing something that's not work or uh, and i feel that the first 10 days of march might be really full of work and it might be that you've set up a schedule and you actually want to start new work but before you can do that you might actually need to take some downtime and then uh, as you head to the end of March in the last 10 days of March the card is you're not it's not personal so I'm thinking from the 20th or the 21st of March till the 31st of March the card is that it's not personal so it might be that you're trying to assist somebody and they do not need your assistance. It might be that you are trying to play the role of, of being a helper, of being the one that comes to the aid of another, and they um, may even appreciate you what you're doing, but you do not feel appreciated for what you are doing. It might be that you are um, invited to play a role or to assist with creating something or doing something or an event or um, a trip or something like this but uh, it's not you're not actually given the uh, acknowledgement that that is deserved in that given situation um, or it, m it may be simply that there's somebody around you like a child or like a, a lover or a boyfriend or a partner a spouse or even or even a family member who's um or from you know from your your childhood a family member from your childhood isn't a sibling or your parents that um may be a little bit distant towards you because they're just needing some space or they're needing some time and it's um it, yeah the card is, is it says it's not personal there's just one other meaning to this which i had a minute ago a second ago actually and it's just disappeared um Ah yes, so it could be that there may there may be somebody who's not missing you or treating you in the way that they normally would treat you uh, when they are not around you or while they're around you, they're just not treating you with the same closeness that they usually do, and this could be and this is this could be what you're experiencing at the end of March. Now I think what happens is that you actually uh, shift your energy in March. So March it feels like you hit the road running. There's quite a lot of things going on. And you do need some assistance. And then as you head to the middle of March, it's like you are almost burning out and you need some downtime. It might even not, not be that you've been working that hard. It might just be that you have a bit of, you know, you have your normal schedule is burning you out. And um, and so you just need some some time out. And when you do take that time out, you have a lot more consciousness and awareness. And it's almost like you are, um, you have space time and calm in you 
so that you can think about things more clearly. And what could happen during this time is that people around you are not used to the change of pace that you have. And so they're not really understanding you or they may be clashing with you. Or you may be clashing with them or you quite can't you you don't quite understand why it is that they can't take a rest or relax or just slow down or just you know be without stress and it's and the card here once again reads it's not personal so it just might be that you're just not really gelling with people in the way that um that you normally would and so um yeah so that is how i see um a march to be uh from these cards uh, i think that um it's calling for a shift definitely in terms of energy and a change of pace it's calling for time for you to um perhaps uh, pray and but also for call it's calling for solitude i would say that there's going to be some time in march especially towards the end of march where it may be that you just need some time out or some time alone you it may be that you are you start the month quite busy and then you you have a lot of engagements and as you've finished with these engagements it could be that you need to just have some downtime in order to re recalibrate and take things in for yourself and you may you it might be you that's exhibiting this energy of um that makes somebody else think that you are being cold or distant or withdrawn in some way and um yeah and it might be you saying to somebody it's not that personal all right so i hope that helps you i hope that it gives you a heads up of what to expect in march i think there's a lot more going on in march but it's not come up in your reading specifically these are the salient points here that i've brought up and i do hope that um your month is going to be a wonderful a fabulous month where you do have all the guidance that you need as well as all the blessings that you need to be able to do whatever it is that you desire. Many blessings to you all. And for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we are asking, what is it that we need to know for March 2024? And we're working with the Soul Cards one. And for those of you who've chosen option number three, uh, we are looking at March 2024. I just want to apologize for uploading this video so late. I was quite under the weather and had a bit of laryngitis this last few days and it's taken me more longer than I expected to recover from it. Um, yes, uh, but as we're looking at March, um, the reading of March, it looks to me like there is, uh, as it is for the other two options, there's quite a a degree of transformation taking place for you and i think your reading is very similar to the first reading uh, you can take a look at both of them there are some elements that are similar and some elements that are different i think the trajectory of energy is different in yours from the uh, the um, first reading um as you start the month of march it may be that there are thoughts that you're having and experiences that you're having which may put you in touch with certain aspects of your past or certain aspects of a part of you that uh, you had long forgotten. It may be that you're quite preoccupied with things and you're not really able to function as you normally would in your normal rhythms. And I think that you might be a bit disengaged from whatever it is that is required around you or you might be hyper-focused on one particular thing um, which is not really for your benefit, but might be for the benefit of someone else or something else. It's like your energy is moving away from you and not toward you. It could be that you are trying to 
very hard to make something happen for somebody else. Um, it, either way, even, even if that's not the case, there's a disengagement that you have with yourself where you are not, even though you might have it in your thoughts to take care of yourself, to do something for yourself, it's as if you can't find the space or the time to be able to do that because your mind and your attention won't allow you to do that. Now, as and that's the, for the first 10 to 12, 11 days of March. As you go on into the second week of March, or the second 10 days of March, from the um, 10th or 11th to the uh, 20th or 21st of March, what you find is a certain degree of enlightenment. There's a certain sense of understanding and knowledge and uh, knowing that comes into being. It's almost like you've arrived and you feel quite one with yourself. Uh, for some of you, the first week of uh, the first two weeks of March or so would be very much about you going inward in order, order to rediscover yourself or to be able to reach in deeper inside of yourself and looking and searching and hearing, just being still and hearing, looking for answers. Um, or being still just to hear answers is what I actually wanted to say. And um, on yeah, as you come into the second, uh, the, the 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 second part of March, which is basically from the tenth to the twentieth of March, you're gonna find that you've arrived. It might be that you were able in between the the in the first twenty days of March to be able to complete something. It might be that you're able to put forth some something, maybe a project proposal, or some kind of uh, understanding. It's like a wholeness or a, it's almost like a, a voila moment or a, um, yeah, ecola moment. It's If you speak Italian or French, you know what I mean. It's like, here we are, you know, just it's done. Here we are. Uh, so that's the energy I'm picking up from um, uh, from the, the 10th to the 20th of March, especially towards the, the, say, from the 15th to the 20th of March. It's really just... A time of being able to say, well, I've arrived, I've come, I've I've gotten this, you know, and um, it might be, for some of you, I'm getting like a really strong sense of, it might be a week in, in your, in this year where you feel most connected to things and most in touch with yourself and with, with the world. It's like the stars have aligned for you. And there's a sense of just having arrived and all is good. It might be also that you're beginning something, something really new, something brand new that you're beginning, something that you haven't done before. And you just have all this inspiration, all this power and all this um, great feelings of being able to make huge strides ahead. And you're just walking with that power right now, but also with the knowing and the uh, of 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 who you are and what what you are and what you represent. And there's a sense of maturity. I feel for the first 20 days of March, it's like you are able to understand yourself anew and uh, maybe even compare yourself to an aspect of yourself that was previously... Um, you might have visited this road before, is what I'm trying to say. And now it's like you are going back and you are redoing it and you're doing it differently, and you're starting something new, and you're doing it quite quite differently, but with a whole lot of knowledge, and you've thought about it quite a lot, and you have uh, quite a good sense of who you are, and what is required from all of this, and therefore you're able to move forth with confidence. I also feel that as you go on towards the last uh, 10 days of March, that... Um, there's almost a wariness about you. It might be that you are tackling issues that you may have tackled about two or three months before. It might be that you are dealing with people that you've dealt with two or three months before. So I would say from, say, mid-December to je uh, beginning of February or so, it might be that certain issues that you've experienced or certain subject matters, not necessarily issues, because issues are sometimes has a negative context. It could just be something positive, you know, but you are revisiting something that you've dealt with previously and you're able to look at it from a different perspective. 
it could the last 10 days of march could also signal a philosophical side in you where you might be accessing a different thought process or looking at things from quite a different point of view uh, where you feel quite uh, detached from things but differently from the way you felt detached from things the first half of the month uh, or for the first part of the month more um, it's more like you're an observer to something or you're looking on into something I think also that as you um, I think also that as you go into the the last part of March it's as if you are able to uh, achieve great abundance. It might be that a sponsorship comes through or somebody tells you that, somebody gives you a go-ahead with something. It looks, it feels to me like there's some form of wealth involved and you are uh, standing by and watching this wealth uh, come towards you. And it's almost like with a wariness. I feel like there's some wariness as in um, a tiredness, a fatigue that accompanies that. And it's not wariness as in uh, being cautious, but being tired, okay? Um, and so there is this, um, yeah, there is a sense of having accomplished something as well by the end of March. It's like you've you've done something and that's where the wariness comes from, the tiredness comes from. It's like this, you've completed the cycle, You've it's come to a head, it's all good. And you're in abundance. I feel like that's quite strong for you, more more so than it's been for anyone that I've read for for March uh, at the moment. So those of you who've gotten this uh, d car these cards, uh, they're great blessings uh, in terms of prosperity that are coming towards you. And it might just be that you you know you it's like um, it's almost like it's showering down upon you. So you might you may be receiving many things from people. Uh, even if it's not just money, maybe it's got nothing to do with money, but it's about opportunity and about resources or about uh, objects that can be utilized. So I feel like, um, you know, once you have this knowledge and this kind of knowingness that you have uh, from the 10th of March to the 20th of March or so, it's going to lead to quite a lot of opportunity coming your way further on. In fact, it starts already from about the 10th to the 12th of March. And it's almost like you present, it's like, it's it's almost like the month of March is you thinking about something, um, kind of, you know, you have a, an idea which is in the embryonic stage. And as you come to the middle of March, you've birthed it. And as you come to the end of March, you have, you've gotten on the road and you've begun the creative process uh, of actually putting it out there and and you it's almost like you're saying well here you are you know there is there it is here's what I'm offering you and then you just have it's like sponsorship or um, yeah praise or some kind of thing coming your way which is um, uh, which is exactly what you've been desiring or exactly what you've been needing so I think that March can actually be a really amazing month for those of you who've chosen option number three it certainly seems like a successful time for you as you go through this time and um, I'm quite curious to see how April um, for those of you who've chosen this option how April uh, fares for you too anyway I wish you all I hope that's helpful and I wish you all a very wonderful prosperous March with many blessings and and all that you desire um yes and once again i do apologize that this video is coming up so late and uh, many many blessings to you all blessings abound from kismet rising